Hi there guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at rotating objects using the control points. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So, today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we update daily. But otherwise, back in the program here. Yeah. Now, just a reminder this is a mini series on um, rotating sizing and moving objects so uh, we've covered quite a few of these topics so today we're going to be looking at the last way of rotating objects and then i will leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along now for freehand rotation uh, it's at least what i call it it's rotating it by control points it is definitely not as precise as doing it on your design central but um it is definitely way more uh, quicker to get to the right result so you can always for concepting and so forth, or rough design, you quickly do it by hand and then you fine tune it if you have strict um, design requirements. So now first of all what we want to do is make sure our um, selection uh, tool is selected on our main toolbar. Click the, the shape you want to rotate and at the moment you can see we only have scaling options. So what you can do is you double click the shape, make sure you're on the shape when you do it and you'll see it gave us now new points. That's for rotating. Um, first, remember another way we can do this. So we can go Control R. And that is located under Edit. Oh, sorry, View. Right now I'm a bit lost. Arrange. There we go. <laughs> so it's under Arrange and then Rotate. As you can see, Control R is the shortcut there. So then, uh, yeah, with that done, so I'll double click this. Then what you can do is you simply click on the corner you want to rotate. If your origin is set to the center, which we decide, uh, covered on the design central, then it doesn't really matter which corner you grab. As you can see, it will rotate around the center. Now, what you can also do is if you keep shifting while you click on hold on one of these, you'll see it rotated in 50 degree angles. Sorry, 15 degree angles. So then it will snap like that. So if you're um, working with the degrees, that's a good way to go about it. Now, similar to the design central, we can also set the origin, which is this little, uh, what they call it, a cent what? Uh, center stationary point. I'm used to it as the origin, so you can set it by simply clicking on that little white dot and moving it to where you want it. Let's put it on the left top corner. Now, if we rotate, we'll rotate it around that point, which is quite handy. So if you're working within a design and you need to rotate something around it, and let's say that's the center of your design, you can always just set your origin. Is convenient if you want to reset the origin point you can simply just click off and then when you go back to rotation it will be reset or what you can do is you go on your design central here and then you just re-click a position and what should i say in my case the center and we'll reset it to the center otherwise that is it on uh, rotation so if we head here to software training today we do have a variety of different softwares we cover and also we have a search option if you want to isolate your search if you uh, ever do not find what you're looking for you can always go here to request a training video and then we will make that video for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers